After three decades of war, Afghanistan's women still face a number of challenges. Violence, sexual assault and lack of enforcement of Afghan laws that protect them are faced by many women every day, many of whom are unaware of their own rights as protected in the Afghan constitution. Herat is one of the more secure provinces in Afghanistan, but like other areas, it has a number of vulnerable women. The city's female prison holds 140 inmates. The children often live alongside them. According to prison officials, they're accused of various crimes, ranging from drug trafficking and murder to running away from home. Some prisoners say they've been dealt bad justice as their sentences are unfairly long. Lailuma Muradi is accused of killing her husband. She claims she's innocent, but the court disagreed and sentenced her to 18 years in prison. Sometimes women who have run away from home end up in prison. Although often presented as a crime in Afghanistan, if a couple run away together, present themselves at court and apply to get married with the agreement of their families, they will both be pardoned. This woman says she ran away because she wanted to marry the man that she loved. Saraya Sabrang is a women's rights activist. She says last year in Afghanistan, violence against women showed a 37% increase. However, this may be because more women are coming forward to report cases of violence. According to her organization, the Afghanistan Independent Human Rights Commission, during a seven-month period, 4,000 cases of violence against women were registered with them. She says 90% of these were rape victims, where the majority of the victims were below 18. <laughs> ازدواج اجباری بد دادن هست ممانعت از تحصیل ممانعت از دیدن دید و بازدید یا فعالیت های اجتماعی هست با اقاره بشن و اینا بیشتر خانواده های باعث میشن که اطفالشان خانه رو ترک بکنه که اینا نمیتونن به طفلایشان محبت بدن Back in Herat, the commander of the prison says the government has provided facilities to the prisoners inside the prison to help female inmates improve themselves, including sports and literacy programs. While the prisoners widely appreciate improved facilities, there's no substitute for missing their families. This is Ruth Owen in Afghanistan for the NATO Channel.